Good morning and welcome to Monday Marketing with Suzanne. This is week four of my Selling Without Feeling Salesy series. I'm Suzanne Moore and I help independent entrepreneurial women focus on the two to three things they really need to focus on in order to bring revenue into their business rather than feeling like they are playing a game of whack-a-mole with their to-do list. So today I'm going to talk about getting curious. Now in the first three weeks of the series, we talked about using attraction marketing, why we want to do that and how to do that. Um, building trust, again, why we want to do that and how to start to do that. And um, connecting, connecting with those ideal clients. Um, by the way, if you are here, I would love to know that you're here and uh, participating. And whether that's during the live version of this or on the replay, I'd love to know you stop by. Um, so first of all, why do we want to get curious, right? Why do we want to get curious about, um, about a prospect we might be speaking to? Well, first of all, the... Um, Every time we ask a question and she gives us an answer, that gives us more information about who she is, what she wants, and how we can serve her. It also may give us information that, you know what, someone we thought was a prospect for us isn't actually a prospect for us. And so it's all about asking those questions and getting the information back. And when we do, we inherently feel less salesy because we just go into, oh my gosh, I can really solve your problem mode, right? Um, secondly, we learn more about how we can serve our potential clients, right? Because we really, instead of making assumptions about what they want and need, we're asking questions and getting their real statements about what they want and need. And um, so we learn more about the whole situation. Now, the, the second thing is, is that when we are asking questions, we're not selling. We are obtaining information and having a conversation, right? So it puts both of us at ease. And um, in the process of having that dialogue, our prospect starts to really go through in her head what is going on with her and what she actually does really need. Because sometimes people think they need something and what they need is actually something very different, right? They want something, um, but they need something different. And usually it's not that they need a different ultimate outcome. It's that they need a different way of getting to the outcome than they think. And an example of that is many people will come to me and they'll say, I just need to know more about social media. I don't know what I'm doing. And I'll look at what they're doing and I'll think, well, they're doing the right things, but they aren't enacting anything on the back end of that that is helping them turn it from being um, you know, just a bunch of people following them and liking their posts to actually uh, moving through and becoming a client or customer, right? So it's not the social media part; it's the it's the back end. It what it's what comes after. Um, okay, and so also this dialogue, it's an opportunity for you to show your prospect what makes sense for her, and for her to kind of convince herself about what she needs and wants. And the, the great part about that is that when you're in that conversation and you're simply um, highlighting potential outcomes for your prospect, she is saying, like her brain is working on, yes, I want this, yes, I want this, yes, I want this. And so the more questions that you can ask that lead her to an obvious, um, an obvious choice to work with you because you can serve her, assuming that's the case, the, the less you feel salesy because the more she's like totally on board with working with you, right? Um, she's actually selling herself. You're not doing the selling. Um, and so then you get to the point where in that dialogue, 
she's made the decision she wants to work with you. And then it's just about the question of the investment, right? And what is very important is that you need to get to the point in your sales conversations that your prospect is so excited about working with you that she's asking you the question of, okay, well, how much is this going to cost, right? Because what happens, and you've you've experienced this yourself, right? From the from the buyer's side, you've been excited to work with someone and and ready, right? You've been, and and thinking, okay, well, what can I afford? What can I afford? What can I do? What can I do? How much can I put into working with this person, right? What is it going to cost me? And so you want to get your prospect to that point. Um, by asking her questions about the outcomes she wants, about what she needs, um, about the solutions she's thinking will work for her, rather than telling her what will work for her. Um, And so then you wait until she asks you what the investment is to work with you, and then you let her process. And that's the hardest part because all of us want to jump in and make excuses for how much we're charging um, and want to say different things about how much we're charging. Well, if that's too much, we could do this, right? Um, But when we pause and we allow our prospect to process, then they decide based on whatever's going on with them, whether or not they can afford to make the investment, right? And so um, in doing that, do you see how the process that I just discussed, where you're asking a lot of questions, asking a lot of questions, and then they ask you how much it is to work with you, and you tell them, and then you just wait, that you are not actually selling at all. You are just helping them obtain the information they need to allow them to make a decision whether or not working with you is the right thing. Okay? So that will help you a lot in terms of not feeling salesy um, because you're just given information right? You're just making it easy for them to assess whether they should work with you or not. Okay, so we know why it's important to ask questions. We know we want to keep asking those questions. And then we know we want to let them ask the question about money. And we want to let them process after they do. So that is this week's Monday Marketing with Suzanne. If I can support you in any way, please reach out to me. You can grab a um, strategy call with me at schedulewithsuzanne.as.me. Again, schedulewithsuzanne.as.me. And I look forward to connecting with you. Have a great day.